has a lot of weapons and their movement is so solid. How do you describe their offense and, and just how tough is it to defend this Warriors team? Well, it's just, it's, it's, it's just constant motion. Um, and you, you have everybody on the team that they, they not only know who they are um, and know their role, they embrace that. Um, and then you got championship pedigree there. You know, you got one of the best players of all time and Steph and uh, great coach and, and, and Steve. And, and I said this before the game, I mean, Draymond's impact on the culture, is, it gets overlooked sometimes. And they just got great leadership, you know. Um, so it, it, it looks sometimes it's like controlled chaos, but there's a method to every single madness that they run. And uh, they just do a great job. You know, it's beautiful to watch them play. Chauncey, with less than uh, three minutes to play in the first half, uh, the game was tied at 42. They go on a 16-2 run to basically take control of the game. Scott gets thrown out on the, on the way to the locker room. Uh, what happened there at, at, the end of the, at the end of the second quarter? Uh, I, look, we was in a good position, man. We were really in a good position. Um, and there were three plays that we felt should have been fouls, you know. Um, and you know, doesn't happen, boom, they come down, score. Obviously, they went on a great run. That's what they do. Um, and we just, you know, we, we just felt bad about it. You know, if it wasn't Scotty, it might have been me. Um, but that was, you know, that was then, and I felt like third quarter, you know, obviously third quarter Warriors is a whole new basketball team. They came out, jumped on us, and I was just proud of our guys. We just kept fighting. We kept scrapping, kept it, you know, it was a game. And, uh, you know, they kind of pulled away from us in, in the fourth, but, you know, I was I was happy, man. We, we played extremely, extremely hard today. They, they, they played their butts off, man. We're gonna go to the Zoom real quick. Aaron Fentress, go ahead. Hey, Coach, the last minute about the Florida State's offense, but they had one of the best uh, defensive ratings in the league. How disruptive were they for you guys' offense, and how come Dane and CJ couldn't keep going? Well, they have the number one defense in the league. Um, you know, they, they just compete. They take away your first option on most plays, and you have to kind of play through the shot clock with them. Uh, you have to play strong side, weak side, and just try to get drive kicks and swings against them. And if you don't, uh, they make it tough for you. You know, they make it tough for you. Uh, I felt like we kind of got away from that at times. When we did that, we had some success. Um, but when you do that, you never know who's going to get the shot, which is fine, you know, um, as long as it's a good shot. You gotta be confident in who you have out there, but um, you know you gotta get them credit, man. You know they're they're just a really good basketball team. What can you say about Ant's performance in the fourth? They basically got you guys back into it. Yeah, I thought Ant. Uh, you know, obviously his shot making was huge for us. He took some um, some tough shots and was able to make them. Uh, but I thought his defense was good too. You know. Uh, guarding, you know, Steph at times, but we were switching everything, so he was pretty much guarded every player. But uh, we, we, we did. Norm went out, Norm went down, so we needed somebody else to step up scoring-wise, and Norm did just, I mean, excuse me, Ant did just that.